My name is Hugh Burnett. We've got several water topics that we want to discuss. Alkalinity is defined as the resistance to uh, a change in pH. For some, uh, I guess we'd say scientists, they define alkalinity in three forms and others will define it in five forms. The primary formations are hydroxyl, bicarbonate, and carbonate. An additional two would be bicarbonate carbonate and also carbonate hydroxyl. In each of these, um, they are directly linked to pH, but a particular pH will not set a particular amount of alkalinity. So for example, if you have a pH below 4.5, you have consumed all the alkalinity and it favors CO2 dissolution and also carbonic acid. If you're in a pH range between a 7 and 8.3, you favor the bicarbonate alkalinity. When you move above an 8.3, then you favor the carbonate. Uh, in the ranges, those mid-ranges of pH, you can have the existence of bicarbonate carbonate, and you can also have, in the higher pHs, carbonate hydroxyl. Uh, each of these, the value of them, uh, particularly in drinking water, uh, is focused on the amount of bicarbonate alkalinity between a 7 and an 8.3. Uh, and primarily the goal is to have the same pH that leaves a treatment plant all the way out 20, 30, 40 miles from the plant. Thank you for your interest in water topics. Uh, we have put together a um, short webinar that will cover the information on the recently patented remin process. This process uh, helps support uh, utilities as they try to optimize their plants for either surface water treatment or for RO permeate stabilization for distribution. Uh, once you've seen the webinar, uh, Burnett Incorporated would be available to answer more questions as uh, they may come up.